Hello, and welcome to episode 1 of A Wizard's Lizard. This is a pretty interesting game. It's a roguelike game, quite similar to Binding of Isaac. That would probably be one of the main comparisons I would do about this game. It's pretty fun. Let's, I have played it 6 times before, died horribly each time. 2 times to the shopkeeper, because you can kill him. But yeah, this game is pretty fun. There's other characters I haven't quite unlocked yet. So let's do random and just see if we can only get the one guy still. Damn. I'm not sure if we can get money out of these on the main level. Um, probably. And here's a ball. We kick it around. Oh, and the mouse is on the screen. I apologise about that. But yeah. Let's, let's get into the game. Yeah. I don't think you can get anything from them. Who knows. Let's have a look in here. This is like a sort of shop area. Ooh. Is this really cheap? Or is it just like messed up? I'm confused, this looks really weird. Ah, uh, oh, there we go, it's fixed itself now. Damn. Screw you. Screw you, man. Screw you. Die. Die. Okay, he's got a lot of health apparently. Um, does he drop anything? I, I'm not quite sure. Oh, a waste of time. <laughs> He doesn't drop anything. I'm here to break your furniture, wench. Okay. Yeah. That was interesting. Yeah. So, well. Well. Okay. Let's start level one. Let's skip that animation. Let's break all this. Let's try and do this relatively quickly. Okay, here's a shop. What's in here? Ooh, a helmet. Not sure what the helmet does, let's find out. The helmet increases attack. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, I wouldn't piss this guy off because he gets pissed really easily and yeah. I don't I'm, I'm not even sure if you can kill him, it's pretty interesting. Let's just get all of these to spawn. Let's get ourselves some monies and some maybe some health, even though we don't need any. Do, 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 do. Yep. Okay, so this is one of the main functions of the, I say one of the main, there is, basically these are some of the functions. There's a totem, which damages enemies around it every so often. They only last for a certain amount of time. You also have this thing, it's called a sword, and it's like a sort of explosion around you, which damages all enemies. But yeah, the main function of this game, as far as I can tell, is in the beginning sequence, you sort of, the wizard conquers death, and you know you don't die, at least straight away. You become a ghost before you die. We will probably see throughout the duration of this recording. And basically, these these like ghosts here, they can they can attack you if you're in that mode. But until then, they can't touch you. Basically, the game has quite a lot of items, and I don't have a clue what any of them do yet. So yeah, you use money to buy items in the shops, and you get money from like. Basically breaking furniture, this and killing enemies. There's bosses in the game which I've encountered one of, and he was well. That's I got wrecked. He destroyed me ridiculously fast, and I will not be looking forward to having to fight him again if I can ever get back there. Anyway, yeah. So it's basically the the premise of the game is to survive and defeat death. Because death like captures the wizard after he conquers death, and I think we're basically going to have to try and rescue him. Oh, bats! The, the darker bats can shoot. The other ones are just like, as far as I'm aware, they just fly around and they can injure you. Yeah, you can also pick up um, what are they called? Swords. Yeah, and. You can see them in the top left, next to like, all your other skills. Just kill these off. And yeah, the spider webs go down. I don't think you can break them, unless you move into height and it does it. Kill this owl. The owls are very fast, but they're, like, they won't just straight up attack you unless you attack them. But you have to kill them to be able to actually leave the level. Because you have to kill everything like in the room, if you will. 
So yeah, this, this is just very similar to Binding of Isaac. Well, we got a lot of gold from that. It's interesting. And you can hopefully go back and visit the shop and get something decent. I don't know if you can update your health in this game. I would imagine you'd be able to. Yeah, we'll have to see. This is uh, probably as new to you as it is to me. But you may know more entirely possible. I'll, I'll probably continue maybe make a series out of this. If if it is like well received. You know, but if you don't like it, yeah, just give constructive criticism. And just say whether or not you like it, you know. This is like my first recording on my own, so it's I don't know how well this will go. But yeah. I'm hoping you're enjoying it so far. Oh god. I know I am. This is a man eater when he fires skills at you, because yeah, why not? Let's go and get these guys out of here. But yeah, you can't leave the room until eh, all the enemies are dead. But you can as long, well. unless they're actually out of their spawning pads, you can. Uh, we're going to go back, maybe buy something from the shop, see what there is. Not sure what the skull does, probably damages us when we're in the dead mode. Yeah, so let's go back up here. And that's everything on this level. See, what is there? There is a time? I'm not sure what that does. And there's this one. Hmm. I think the ring will do something interesting. Not sure. Let's get the ring. The Ring of Minor Speed. Hmm. It, it, oh yeah, well, I guess it makes sense. It increases your speed. Okay then. Is there anything else in here? You can go above. I've already been there. And I want to see what this would have done. It's a shame. It looks like it's got time. Maybe you can slow down time. It's your abil an ability or something. Who knows? Um, okay, let's go this way. Let's just make... Actually, you can, you can also see the map when you're in here. Yeah, it looks like we're finished. It. Cool. Yeah, you can definitely see the speed up. Also, yeah, one of your other abilities is like a sort of dashing option. There's a few dash in a straight line. That's interesting. Let's go on to the next level. Oh, there's a bat. Yikes. You nearly caught me off guard. <laughs> okay. Just defeat you. Let's go to the right. Okay, is there anything in here? Uh, no, it doesn't appear to be. It's like an empty room. Okay then. Yeah, this is one of the sort of like ritual areas where you, if you're a ghost, you stand and it will respawn you, basically. Basically, all it does. But it's uh, it's a really neat mechanic, in my opinion, anyway. Okay, let's go down now. Oh, there's... Oh, we'll see, there's some... Okay, there's a chest. Ooh, I'm not sure what that does. Probably gives you more damage. But the Great Owls take four hits, as far as I'm aware. Oh god, oh dear god. Yep. Okay, ow owls OP. <laughs> oh god. I've been killed by owls, like, two times out of my six deaths. The other two times I've been a shopkeeper because I tried to be greedy and it sort of failed, you know? As greed does. Okay, we got this. What was it called? It's a uh, blueprint. I think blueprints are helpful to you, but I haven't like seen a use for them yet. I think maybe something to do with that spawn shop. But I'm not positive. Okay, and yet yeah, in this key, these walls here, you can't get through them uh, when you're alive, but if you're in ghost mode, you can, like, walk through them. It's, it's like sort of taking advantage of the mechanics still. Oh, what's this ring? The ring of dexterity. Ooh. Decrease attack cooldown so I can shoot faster. And that increases attack. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep this one. Increase my attack, yeah. So hope if we die, we can come back and get this key. Which I have no clue what it does though. Oh, there's oh there oh, there's a lot. There's apple, yeah, fruit and apples hardware. Fruit, steak, apples—they all increase 
They don't, they don't, they don't increase. They give you more health, basically. And this guy is a great robber. And for the shovel at you. But you could argue it's very unproductive, considering he's trying to, like, dig. But he seems to have infinite of them. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess we're gonna just get a um, amount of gold out of this. Um, I've nearly died twice, but I got stuck in the middle of them. But I, uh, let's just try and get as many of them out. I think it, it does cause lag, like, uh, if you spawn enough of them, which is sort of common sense, I imagine, all these, considering there's maybe close to 50 of them on screen. Oh, but I'm, I'm seeing a bit of a frame dip now. Oh, yeah, there you go, there's a frame dip. Oh jeez. It's for me, oh god. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we've got all of them we can spawn, so just hammer our way at them. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, the proof that they drop food which can give you more health. Which is helpful because you will need it. It's really easy to get hit in this game, from what I've seen anyway. Like, there's a, they always, there's a lot of ranged enemies. Some of them will fire multiple, like, shots and stuff. But it's a, it's a really fun game. Enemies. I think it's called a goblin. It fires some like swords at you. Yeah. See, when there's a lot of different type types of enemies, this game can become really hard. But it's. I'm not saying really, I mean, it's probably just my lack of skill that makes it hard more than anything. There's a goblin. Yeah, it fires two swords at you. It does, so you can, I guess. Let's pick you up. Sorry about that, minor interruption. Had to speak to some family members. God. Okay, let's go back into the game. Okay. Everyone dead? Looks like it. Let's pull you up. Let's take you. Just gives us a slow speed down, but it's nothing too major. It doesn't give any, doesn't damage you over time or anything, which is decent. Um, okay, just ignore like these spawning pads at the moment. Let's go down here. Let's, let's move on. Oh, okay, this is a bit of a holy take damage here. Um, oh jeez. Yeah, some of the enemies are also slowed down by the... What are they called? Cobwebs, which is decent, which is nice because... It means that you can use them to your advantage. Uh, I took some damage, unfortunately. Nothing too major. Oh, I will... Um, God, people don't understand when you tell them to leave you alone, do they? God. Okay, back into the game again. Let's try this. I'm trying to be interrupted again before the end of this episode. Okay. There's a bat over there. Let's go and get this guy. I think we should really leave after that. Yep. Let's go. This is the end of the level. Let's just... Did we get everything? Yes, that's what we did. Okay, let's do this. Let's head to the next level. I have a feeling we will have to be a boss on the next level. And I think this is the level I had to be a one last time. Okay, yeah. Let's head. Let's go down first. Manal. Yeah, let's go down. Oh, there's a shop. Oh, ho, ho. That looks good. Hmm. I don't think we'll get enough to you get that. I don't think it's worth risking killing him. I'll, I'll buy this. Wait, have I got, have I got to have one of them? Let's just check my inventory. I don't. I don't have a book or one of them. Let's buy you. 
to the totemic haste. I imagine that that will speed up the fire rate up here. No, it decreases the, to the totem cooldown. Okay, and you, Monster Manuel. Displays enemy health, equipped to boot pouch. Okay, so that isn't actually as good as I was hoping it would be. I was hoping it would be some form of a damage up. Uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. Actually, no, I've already de de no, crap, I shouldn't have done that. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not going to buy that weapon. Now oh, the health bar picture's decent, I guess. It's not the best, though. I would have, should have seen it. Hopefully I'll get enough to be able to get that weapon. Only mm, three hits to kill this. I will end it's decent. Okay. I might actually just, at the end of this level, I may try and steal that thing. Because if it, I have a feeling it'll be like a major damage up. Oh, werewolf. Werewolves. Uh, they have this like, oh god. Owls. Owls. They have like this sort of blink ability. Where they sort of like go really fast in a certain direction. We might get to see it properly. Let's kill him. Where is he? I'm thinking, yeah, there it is. Basically that. Well, we can rescue this guy and give us some money. Probably like 500. That's what they normally seem to give us. Yeah. Okay. Let's pop that. Let's pull this up. Let's talk with him. Yeah, he gave 500 gold. Okay. Um, yeah. So we need to go back down. Okay, we're quite close to death because of that level. Let's break you. Let's some gold. See, I really want this. This looks like it should be really powerful. <laughs> well, we'll see if I get enough by the end of this level. Let's just go left now. I have a feeling... Ooh, I will... Ooh. Well, these things suck you in towards them. I think they... No, they just seem to suck me. They don't seem to suck my enemies in. Yep, yeah, there we go. These can be a bit of a pain in the ass, but they're not the worst. There's a lot of ranged ones here. Let's go forward. Oh, that was a lot of sword between five my oh oh. Okay, I mean ghost format. Let's put you there. Yes, you can see now the ghosts come after us as well. You can, like dodge at the last second. There you go. Let's get this. What's it giving us? It's giving us demon hands. Let's have a look. Let's go and see what this does. Demon hands. Defuses alignment, increases attack. I'm not sure what alignment is, but other than that, it seems really good. Even more attack, which is really helpful. Because we're going to need it. Uh, fortunately, I didn't mean. Oh, there we go. I got the owl. Okay, the owls are, in my opinion, probably the easiest enemy to take damage from. Because they're, yeah, they're just really fast, as you've seen there. They just hit you before you're ready. It's... Yeah. So I'm not sure what the limit is. I'm guessing maybe some like morality system or something. So, yeah. Of course, I don't know. Okay. I will. Oh god. Let's eat this. There we go. We got some more health. I think we're gonna die just in this room alone. Oh, that was bad. A lot of damage in that room. Yeah, this is the boss. Let's just check the map. Uh, well, we won't go to the boss straight away. That would just be bad planning. We will go back all the way. I'll we'll try and get some. I hope there's a shop. Well, yeah, that will be a shop. I think every floor or level has a shop, as far as I'm aware. Hopefully we can revive ourselves as well, so we get to go to ghost mode in the boss fight. Yeah. There's, if it, uh, there's two bosses from what I've seen so far, and one of them sort of spins around, and the other one, how would you try it? He like sort of has this sort of attack that he just fires at you, and when it, it, it when it hits the wall, it sort of like explodes. It's the it's the easiest easier one to. In my opinion, I'd rather have that one than the spinning one because the spinning one is hard to avoid. 
Oh, the werewolf. The werewolf seems like they're like, run. Oh, we don't just dodge that. Oh god, we got a lot of damage. I'm not looking forward to our chances of winning this one. I'm not sure what this does. The Book of Atomic Mastery. Let's have a look. Okay, the Book of Atomic Mastery increases totem radius, increases totem duration, increases totem effect, but decreases the totem kill. Bit. Oh no, that's a good thing. So it's basically a really good totem book. That's good. So what was this one again? Oh, that was just shows health. Yeah, well, we'll definitely choose that one over the one we had. Like that one is so much better. So you can pick up some more soul orbs, some more money. Uh, either we go to the right now. That's the only choice we've got, unfortunately. Okay. God. Let's just, let's just try and kill all these guys. Oh, God. Damn, we've got corners. Probably should have used my soul orb ability. Probably would have saved me from taking this, that damage. We're, we're pretty low on health. And I, oh god. <laughs> we're so gonna die at this boss fight, unless we can get some health. Mm. Our chances are pretty slim, in my opinion. So, if we can win this, I will be proud of myself. I don't think we stand much of a chance, unfortunately. Oh, oh no. Um, uh, yep, we're, we're dead. I did not expect that ske um, skeleton to come out. Oh yeah. Ooh. Our chances are very slim at this point. Unless there's like a shop item that gives us full health. Damn. Oh well. It's been a good run. Decently far in. Decent amount of items. So I'm not sure if you can upgrade your health in this game. I imagine this what that would be an option. But I just haven't seen it yet. Unfortunately. Dear God, and sorry if I'm really. Oh, what? No, that was unfair. Oh. Well, I hope you enjoyed. This has been episode one of A Wizard's Lizard with me, Light, and I hope you guys enjoy. The link for the game will be in the description. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.